Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about a topic uh, in food safety, which is allergen contamination. Uh, for those with food allergy, even a tiny amount of an allergen can cause severe reaction, as we know, which is why food manufacturers must follow strict procedures uh, to keep allerg allergens out of that unintended product. Yeah. We'll cover what allergen contamination is, how it can occur in manufacturing, and the strategies to, to prevent them. So let's get started. First of all, why is an allergen? Alleg so allergen contamination happens when allergens such as uh, nuts, dairy, shellfish end up in a food products uh, that aren't supposed to contain them. This can cause serious health risks for people with allergies, uh, making allergen management essential uh, in our food manufacturing processes. And, uh, we, and according to regulations, we've got 14 allergens in the UK and in Europe, uh, such as nuts, milk, gluten, soybeans, uh, lupin, sulfites, etc. And manufacturers must also ensure that uh, allergens don't unintentionally end up in foods that should be allergen free, as previously previously mentioned. Um, let's look at how allergen contamination can occur in food manufacturing and the most common um allergen cross contact that happens. So First one would be shared equipment. Yeah, in many, many facilities, the same equipment processes multiple products. When equipment is shared, allergen residue from one batch can contaminate the next if, uh, if we don't have proper cleaning practices in place. Uh, so that's why we must as well, very important to carry out allergen cleaning validation to make sure that we are able to remove uh, the, uh, the allergen uh, through our um, cleaning methods. Then we've got um, second one would be storage and handling. Allergen can spread when ingredients aren't stored properly. For example, uh, dust from an allergenic powder um, like wheat flour can contaminate non-allergenic ingredients stored nearby. Then we've got a third um, way of contamination. Um, it would be through packaging and labeling errors. Probably is the most common one and this is the top um, product recall worldwide because we're making uh, mistakes on our labeling. Uh, so accidental mislabeling uh, is a major risk in allergen contamination. So if a product containing allergens isn't labeled correctly, it can lead to uh, to that exposure for, for consumers. And then the, the last one here that we're gonna discuss is cross contact during processing. So allergen particle can transfer between products through the air, uh, conveyor belts, or even employees' hands if proper protocols aren't uh, followed. And as we mentioned, for people with allergies, even small traces of an allergen can trigger symptoms like rashes, swelling, difficulty breathing, or even anaphylaxis, yeah, a life-threatening reaction. And the impact on consumer health and brand trust makes allergen management an essential part for food manufacturers. So how to prevent them? Preventing that uh, allergen cross-contact requires combination of good practices, uh, potential technology, and strict oversight. And here are some key strategies used in food manufacturing. Uh, the very first one would be allergen segregation and dedicated equipment. So many facilities use dedicated equipment for allergen containing foods to prevent cross contact. Uh, however, when this isn't possible, um, they separate allergenic ingredients from non-allergenic ones and use scheduled production runs uh, with allergen processed last followed by thorough cleaning. Second way to, to prevent it would be the comprehensive cleaning and sanitation programs. So equipment, surfaces, storage areas are thoroughly cleaned after allergen products are processed. Manufacturers often use validated cleaning procedures, as I mentioned earlier on, uh, with specific chemical, temperatures and time uh, requirements to ensure that all traces uh, of allergens are removed. Third would be air filtration and ventilation systems. So in some facilities, allergen can become airborne. So particularly if they are powdered ingredients. So air filtration and controlled ventilation system help to prevent that allergen particles from traveling between production areas. We also have allergen control plan. So it includes procedures for handling, storing or labeling allergens. So this plan ensures that every step from ingredients receiving to final packaging uh, prevent that cross contact. And one of the um, a very important one, especially as well in so in manufacturing, but also in hospitality, strict employee training and hygiene protocols. So employees are a critical part of the allergen control. Um, workers are trained to understand allergen risk and follow specific hygiene protocols, like changing uniforms or washing hands and tools to prevent that accidental allergen spread. And that's pretty much everything for uh, for the, the prevention. There are much, much more prevention controls. Uh, however, if I would tell them all, you know, we're going to spend the day here. So, um, so just to say, to maintain compliance, food manufacturers must meet those guidelines uh, set by regulatory bodies like the FSA, uh, the Food Standard Agency in the UK, uh, or the European Food Safety Authority uh, in the EU. Regular audits, both internal or external, um, ensures that all allergen control procedures are being followed. 
or they check everything from equipment cleanliness to accurate labeling, helping manufacturers to identify and address any risks uh, early. So effective allergen control protects consumers from uh, the unintended exposure and allergic reaction, build trust in brands, reduce the, the risk of those costly recalls and potentially legal issues for, for the company. So here it is, uh, a quick overview of uh, allergen contamination uh, in manufacturing and the steps taken to prevent it. We're going to be as well doing more videos on the different contamination from the different hazards that we've got in uh, food manufacturing. So I hope you find this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to our channel uh, for more food safety topics. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.